What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute power Pilates workout. So grab some optional light dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute power Pilates workout. We're going to target the full body in some way today and I think this is going to be a lot of fun for you. I'm really excited for these workouts. They really challenge me and we're going to flow right into the next move after we're finishing each one. You'll see no repeats today per side of the body. So we'll just keep moving 45 seconds to 50 seconds per move. Just enough rest time for me to show you what we're going to transition into. I will be using my five pound dumbbells. You can use three, five wrist weights, ankle weights, or you don't have to use any at all. Totally optional, the workout will still burn either way. Make sure you grab some water and let's rock right into our warm up. Nice wide stance, opening up the side body first with reach overs in two, one, let's go. Good, exhale as you pull back over. Good. One more each side. And come back into the middle. Fold forward as you dive your chest down. Walk it over to the left and right as you just reach outside your foot. Great job. Hope you're ready for a good challenge today. Lots of movement. Focus on the legs, the arms, the core balance, the muscular endurance, and hands back in the middle. Take your feet just a bit wider, and let's take one leg straight, one leg bent. Targeting the inner thighs here, and also waking up your quad muscles. Good, stay over here on the left side. Drop it just a bit lower if you can. Turn your toe up to the sky. And over to the right, same thing. Drop it low if you can. Toe up to the sky on the left foot. And back up to the middle, slowly roll it up. Come back in, open up the feet. Okay, lifting one heel at a time. Good job, I like to think of pushing my heel towards the front of my ankle. And good, big cross over your chest with your arms open up your chest and your anterior delts. I've always mentioned Pilates workouts are a challenge for me. So we step into a challenge together, ready to work hard, not ready to feel weak or defeated or like this is gonna be tough for us. Step up to the challenge, we'll do our best and we get stronger in those times that challenge us. Three, two, one, big deep breath in, reach it up. Grab your hands, pull and pull, just nice and high. Last one, and hands on your tailbone, let's push forward and sink it back. Again, forward. Hand back, and one more forward. And we're gonna start with optional dumbbells in your hand, okay? Turning your toes out, you have a heel lifted squat. Dumbbells can be here or here. We lift the left heel first, here, and let's go. Just pulsing. Good. There you go. All right, switch heels. Lift the right heel. Stay seated. Great job. And we'll switch again. Left heel up, up, up. Great job. Hold your dumbbells right here. And switch back over to the right. Go down, down, down. Great job. Good. Both heels up. Let's go for five, four, Three, two, one. Bring your dumbbells right up here. Drop your heels. We're gonna sit, reach, pull. Reach, pull. Hands or dumbbells. Drop it down. Three, two, 
One, and we're over, pull. Good, nice squat, oblique crunch. You'll feel the stretch in your top abs or the abs that are stretching over. I want you to use those to pull back, ribs back towards your hips. Good. Heels are on the ground, but you're seated. Good. You've got 15 more seconds, great work. And over and pull, come on. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and stand and you're gonna open your palms toward the front right here. We sit, pulse, okay? Palms or dumbbells, supinated. Toes are turned out. As you sit, you lift. Let's go, right here. And if you can take that dumbbell almost to the bottom but not resting, let's do that. Chest up, don't fold here. Chest up, there you go. And now pull your abs in like you're rotating and squeezing your glutes. Good job. Heels are down, all your toes feel the floor. Knees are tracking outward as you sit down. Great job. Give me five. And rest, beautiful job. You're gonna turn it over to face the left side. Dumbbell still in hand. Give me a half lunge, front leg is bent, back leg is straight and goes to the sky in two, one, here we go. Up and up. And if you've got dumbbells and you wanna pull a little row into this, feel free. Front leg is balancing, hips are flat, so make sure you don't open your hips this way, keep them facing where your heel is. Squeezing the glute. Good job. Beautiful. Give me 10 more. Perfect. Two, one, and I'm gonna drop the dumbbell from my right hand, keeping one in my left. I take my right hand, and I'm gonna meet here with my right knee, keeping the half lunge. Stay here, two, one, let's go. Overhead, crunch. Good, stay in this half lunge out front. Now, if this feels good to you and you wanna add the crunch arm dumbbell, Go for it. If at any time, or should I say when, you lose your balance like I have a couple times, come right back in, recenter. Great job. And last one, great job. Keep this same half position, half lunge. Give the dumbbell back to your right hand. You're gonna open it up, extend, come back in. Open, extend, come back in, like a hinged Arnold press. Let's go. Great job. Working to get your bicep right beside your ear. Keeping a lot of that weight in your front leg. 15 more seconds, great work. Beautiful, open, press, three, two, one, grab your dumbbells again, and we're gonna do that circuit on the other leg. Okay, so we move into that heel lift. Left toe is back, body is over the right foot, right here, 
in two, one, let's go. If you wanna add the row, feel free. Don't lose control of your core. Don't let your belly start arching. Keep your chest and your ribs, your ribs and your hips in line. Keep the weight in the front foot. Great work, stay pulsing, stay moving. You're doing fantastic. Four, two, one, great job. That left toe that's back, you're gonna meet that knee to the elbow right here. Ready? Same thing, just on the other side of the body. Let's go. Down and crunch. Keep that front leg lunge going. Find a spot on the floor. Watch it. Keep your hips and shoulders square. Beautiful work. Come on. Squeeze. You got it. Knee to elbow, right outside your hip. Reach, exhale, crunch. Two, one, rest. Give me that dumbbell. Back in your left hand, hinged Arnold. We're here, palm is facing us. Open, press, curl it back in. Let's go. And when you open, because we're in a hinged position, I do want you to engage your back muscles. So here, squeeze before you press. Great work, come on. That's it, 15 seconds. Beautiful, give me six more. Five, three, two, one. Drop it down onto the floor into a Superman position. Okay, hips are down, arms are up. We pull, one, two. Touch your thumbs, open your hands. Let's go. Reach, pull open, reach, pull open. So in this supinated position, shoulder blades are squeezed back. Good, and if you need a modification, dial it back one arm, one arm. Great job, lower back strength is so important. We've gotta get stronger here together. Use your glutes as well. Four. And rest, great job. Come on up into a plank. We're coming side plank, lift and lower. Side plank, lift and lower, okay? High plank, let's do it. Open, lift, lower. If you can open, lift, lower with a top leg high, let's try it. Beautiful, keep it up. Stay moving for 15 more seconds. Then you're gonna lay it down on your back. Not quite yet. Five, two, one. Take it down to the floor. We've got a canoe flutter. Dumbbells can be in your hands. We're right here. Four, 
three, two, one. We're open body starting here. The higher your feet, the easier this is. So if you need to take them up top, do that. Keep your tailbone back. Great job. I know this one is a long work period. I feel it too. Stay here. Keep those ribs pulled down, down. Four, two, one, release, relax. We're gonna go tuck and release here. So taking everything, ball it up in the middle, open to either one leg, or two legs. One will be a modification. So if you need that, go there. Let's tuck and release. Here we go. Fifteen, great job. Two, one, flip it over to your tummy again. Now we're working the lower body. Superman leg abductions. Okay, so you're on your belly. Legs are up, out, and in. Let's go. Good, if you wanna make this more difficult, hamstring curl, open, close. And just think about your knees here, that makes it more difficult. So, go there if you can. Think about pushing your hips into the floor. Great job, now let's pulse out. Out, go with me, out, 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 out. Good, 10 more, 10, nine, eight, good job, seven, five, three, two, one. Up onto your hands and knees. Take your right leg up into the air. Okay, walk it just a bit forward, push up. Right here, down, up, four, three, Right leg up, let's go. Down, up, elbows go right past your sides. You come up again. Great job, if you can add a little pulse at the bottom, go for it, don't come all the way up. Keep that right leg nice and flexed, okay? Nice and straight. Fifteen more seconds, great job. Five more seconds, pulse it up, right here. Four, three, two, one. Come back up onto all fours. Right leg stays out. Bird dog crunch, here, open. Okay, add a dumbbell if you would like. In three, two, one, let's go. Reach, crunch up and in. Arm and leg flex on the way out, so glute lifts the leg, shoulders and back, lift the arm. Crunch in, lift your core, squeeze the abs. Come on, right leg, stay working. Almost there, 15 more seconds. Two, one, drop that dumbbell. Let's extend the left leg now. Left leg lifted, push-ups, okay? Big deep breath, three, 
two, one, go down, up. Come on, breathe your elbows right into your ribs, fully extend, point that toe on the left foot. Good, elbows go back, so make sure you're not taking them out to the side. They go back towards where your heel is lifted, fully extend, push the floor away. If you can add that pulse, feel free, keep that glute flexed. 15. Four. Three. Two, one, rest. Keep the left leg up. You're going back to the bird dogs with your right hand on a dumbbell. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift, crunch up. Make sure when you lift, you're not letting your low back go here, okay? No super arch. Keep the core tight. Great job, you're doing amazing. Three, two, one. Great job. You've got 30 seconds. Grab some water. We're gonna move into a little plank series. But let's take a little breather here. 15 more seconds. Okay. Very proud of you. You're gonna come on to plank knee drive, right leg. Okay, so the right leg is up. You're gonna go down. Crunch, up, lift. Down, crunch, up, lift. Let's go. Whoops. Lift, take it down, crunch. Feel free to hold a dumbbell in your hand if you would like or not. You want this hip lifted on your straight leg lift and it's stretching, oblique is stretching on your downward crunch. Good. Glutes and obliques on the bottom side is where we should be feeling this. Good, one more. And we open it up to the other side. So just walk your way right over to your right hand. Left leg is gonna go up and crunch in four, two, one, we crunch straight, down, crunch bent. Great job, think long, strong body. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. Let's take it into a high plank again using just the right leg. You're gonna go three point and cross body tuck. So you're going here, right leg up, plank, cross. Glute squeeze, cross. Let's go. Don't cross until you get back to the plank. Great job. Lift and squeeze the glute. Bring it down, squeeze the abs and the glutes. Twist. Great job. Five. 
two, one, drop to your hands and knees. We do the same thing with the left leg. Doing okay? You're doing fantastic. Plank, three point with the left leg. And we plank it out, two, one. Here we go, left leg, squeeze the glute. Plank, twist. Beautiful, come on. Think strong, everything you do right now. Strong, graceful, in control. You're almost there, come on. Five more seconds and you've got it. Two, one, flip it over to your back. Great work. All right, right leg on the ground, left leg up. We're gonna go glute bridge to the toe, come down, toe touch. Glute bridge to the toe, Come down, crunch up, let's go. Great work, lift up with the heel, then lift the heel off the ground, heel down, hips down, crunch. Come on. Good job. Five, four, three, drop the sit up now. Just pulse with that glute bridge. Up, up, on the toes, right here. Come on, pull it up. Go squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Great job, let's go. You're there, come on. Let's go 15 more seconds. I said 30, let's go the whole time. You've got this, we've got it. We're at the end of the workout. Let's push, lift, lift. If you feel like you're barely lifting, it's okay, keep working. Four, three, two, one, 15 seconds rest. We drop it over the leg that was lifting. Now is the straight leg. We go for that bridge, heel lift, down, and crunch in three, two, one, we're up, let's go. Heel, toe, toe touch. Good, let's go, come on. Breathe, lift, exhale, squeeze. You're doing great, keep it up. Don't stop. 15 more seconds, come on. Keep the leg in the air. Good. Last sit up right here. Come down, only the bridge. Heel up, let's go. Hands down by your side if you need that balance help. Breathe through it. I know this is not easy. Keep your hips level. Don't let your hips swivel to where this top hip or the side hip with the straight leg drops. Keep it level. That's your core. Make it tougher. Extend your leg out a little straighter. <laughs> Good job. You've got five, four, Two, one, drop your foot down to the floor. Big hug around your knees and you have made it to your cool down. Breathe in, exhale, pull the knees to the chest. And relax your feet down to the floor, straighten your legs. Nice long reach with your fingers and toes. And slowly, 
make your way up to a seated position as you reach and fold forward. Amazing work today. Come on to your hands and knees and let's rotate the spine a little bit. Okay, hands right under your shoulders. Big deep breath in as you drop your belly. Exhale, lift. Again. One more time, big deep breath in. Exhale, lift. Right leg right up beside the right hand, drop your hips down. Open the right hand up to the sky and reach back to your hamstring as you continue to push your hips down. Amazing work today. I hope you feel strong. I hope you feel proud of your body and what it just did for you. Come back to the center and let's switch sides. Left foot up. Open your left arm to the sky as you open your chest and reach it back. Nice open chest, nice open hips. And I hope you challenged yourself today in a big way. Come back up to the top. Press your hands down, tuck your toes, lift up to the sky. Walk it into the middle. Both toes are facing forward. Bend one leg, switch it right over to the other side. Good inner thigh stretch. And slowly roll it up to the top. Tilt your head over right ear to the right shoulder. And switch. And switch again. And last switch. And back to the center, heel toe your way into standing. I am so proud of you, I'm so grateful for this time with you. I hope this new style and this challenge of balance, of muscular endurance, of a smaller range of motion, a bit slower tempo, but a heavy focus on stabilization and muscle excitation really brought you to the point of you neuromuscularly connecting with your body. Okay, I can easily tell you to lift your leg out to the side and you can do this 50 times, but when I tell you to slow it down and squeeze, I hope you're able to make that mental, physical connection. Okay, that's what today's workout was all about and we're gonna continue to use that in the next couple weeks of summertime fine, but guys, amazing work today. Workout has been crushed. Make sure before you head out, if you finish this, share it with someone who you think might be really, really proud of finishing this workout. First, give it a thumbs up and let yourself know that you're proud of yourself and then subscribe to the channel. I will see you back here tomorrow after you comment that you crushed it. I love you, great job.